Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Stranded Alien Dawn. In this video I'm going to explain a little bit about base building and your defenses. Um, I've just seen a lot of bases um, scattered all over the place. Your people need to run everywhere to go deal with things. Uh, it becomes too large to sustain. You need a lot more things. Uh, it gets very busy um, and that does make for a frustrating game. Uh, especially at higher levels. So what I'm going to explain is a few pieces of, of good bases. Um, I mean, you don't necessarily need to make this the same as mine. Um, it, you just need certain key points, which is <laughs> the first key point, keep everything together. Um, the least amount of time that your, your survivors have to leave any residence, the better their happiness will maintain. Um, they do like to work inside they do get bonuses for it um, so every time they have to go outside in the winter or if it's a heat wave um, they're gonna get a little bit pissy so uh, I mean you really do want to keep them happy so as you see my base I'm in year two day 19 this is going to be pretty much the extent of my base for the next seven eight years depending on how long it takes me to get people um, I won't need to expand further than this. I have more than enough uh, crops. Uh, I do have room to build more. I do not need any more extensions here. Um, I may and probably will extend out to here. Uh, this will give me extra in case uh, these people don't marry and then I don't double up rooms. But I do leave room for expansion to be able to fit the max amount of survivors, which is eight. Um, I can still expand my kitchen. Uh, all I have to do is just renovate a few things, move a few things, and everything is fine. Uh, as you see, I have my tailoring, my supplies, um, my construction supplies are in here, um, my food, uh, my play quarters, my living quarters. Um, as you see, they don't have far to go, um, so it's really handy to have like an all-in-one like a Walmart super center, you know? You just wanna keep everything there, keep everyone happy. Um, as you can see, I don't have my flooring in yet, but I will put flooring in, and once I do, then they will lose the negative of the caveman, um, but it will also give them bonuses for working inside. Uh, the reason why, uh, unlike other people, that I keep my construction supplies in is because all of my other things, like furnaces and stuff, they will all be in here as well. Um, and that makes it a very short trip to handle. Um, handle seems to be a lot of uh, issues with people. They don't understand why their people aren't moving things. They have to send them or dictate someone. Um, I do have another video on the activities that you can check out, uh, which will help with the handling and the delivery. Um, but yeah, I mean, just keep a base tight and short. I have all my power I require here. Um, as you can see by my defenses, I don't use the um, the maze. I don't like it. I need a wide area because as the intensity of the insects uh, comes at you, uh, they will be bigger and they need a lot of room to get through. Uh, there's a reason for it is because they will just barge through your walls if they can't get through the open space. So to them, this won't be a doorway. It will be blocked if you had flamethrowers and turrets all on the ground here uh, or if you made a maze and it was say two lanes wide it won't be good for you um, this is quite sufficient to stop most things at about this point um, I have two laser turrets and two gun turrets I will build more as the years increase and the intensities increase um, I do have room to build more power. Uh, I will never need to build more than probably about to here uh, with my power because I will be upgrading. Um, these carbon turbines are great. They're way more useful than the regular turbines, which suck. Um, these are advanced solar panels. I will be trying to get the breakthrough for the graphene ones, uh, which will definitely help my power. Um, but as you see, I mean, I, I don't have any issues. The base is tight, it's easy to uh, sustain. When they come, my, my people can all be here. 
I don't have to worry about pulling people from too large of an area uh, when an attack does come. So therefore, you are quite secured. Um, they don't have far to go. Uh, like I said, eventually my uh, when I do the um, furnaces with the electric, they will be inside. Um, but either way, they just walk out a door, right, walk back in. It's real easy, real simple. Um, so yeah, I mean, the biggest point is to keep your base completely contained. Um, it does help your flow. Uh, I do, like I said, have room to advance. Um, at some point, I will be putting a wall across here. Uh, the reason for that is to push them around the sides. Uh, I will be blocking this off completely too to push them all the way around. Um, they're attracted to a couple things. One, they're attracted to anything shooting them, which would be your turrets or you. They're attracted to your survivors, uh, absolutely. So if you make a mistake and hold your people back here, well, they'll just attack your wall here. They don't really want to run around, but they will, but they're only trying to get you. Uh, the other thing that they are attracted to is carbon, so watch when you build out of carbon. Um, they are attracted to destroy it. They will go straight for it almost immediately. Um, and then, yeah, it's just going to be a waste. Uh, as you see, I've built everything out of wood. I don't need to do anything else. I don't need to build out of brick it, or concrete or carbon. It doesn't seem to, in this early access, uh, be able to take more damage than any other thing. Um, <clears throat> as you see, my walls are low. There's a reason for that. I did try the large walls, and they really did suck. I had uh, three little bugs tear through my 250 wall very quickly, um, about as quick as it would take for them to go through my little tiny 50, except for I can't shoot over the wall at them. So then I would need to waste more resources on towers, which I don't really want. Um, it's just a bit of a pain. And, and when they get up too close, sometimes if they're right next to your fence and you have a tower, you still can't shoot at them and they'll still break through your wall. Um, and then it becomes uncontrollable and this is what you're hoping to avoid. Um, so with these small walls, not only do I have gates that I can go through um, without having to open and close them, which I did not like on the high walls, um, I can see over them. So if bugs are coming back here, um, I can shoot over them before they get there, uh, which is very handy. I don't have to go through doors or walls and I don't have to climb up towers and position each person that can all just stand here and shoot. Um, do make sure that if you're using a pulse rifle, try not to aim anywhere near your farms. You will destroy everything you have in there with it. Um, so yeah, the short walls work fine. Uh, as far as insulation in places, do not go overboard. They have not worked this out very well. So insulation doesn't actually really matter because as long as your survivors are within their boundaries of their hot and cold, it doesn't really matter whether you're running a, a super comfortable temperature in your home. They're, they're not real people. <laughs> they are just characters in a game. And as long as you play within the perimeters of the game, they'll be quite fine. So as long as I don't go above or below either of these levels here, uh, my pass uh, my survivors will not get unhappy. They'll still stay happy. Uh, so you're not looking for a perfect temperature to keep them all nice and cozy. It doesn't really matter. So you'd just be wasting your time. So unless you want to build something that looks nice out of brick or concrete or carbon, I mean, by all means, go ahead and use the resources. Um, but you don't have to. And if you have a lot of wood around, wood is sufficient. Um, as long as they're clothed, and this is what you have crafters for, is to craft them clothing so that at least they got clothing on and they're within their perimeters and whatever your hot or cold is in your building will be quite sufficient for keeping them happy. So if you don't want to waste a lot of time um, making something to make something else to make something else and spending all of that time with your people handling and making it and storing it, just make out of what is useful. If you land on a place, uh, you don't come to where I'm at, and you got a lot of rock, uh, by all means, make stuff out of stone. Um, if you're on a place with a lot of trees, I wouldn't waste any more time building anything else other than what you have around you, which is the wood. Um, it just, it's pointless at this point. Um, it's still early access. 
they barely were able to get the flow of the evenness of rooms these vents still don't work very well um, so again like I said if you can put you know eventually I'll put one air conditioner heater and another one over here and this will just do two rooms it keeps it at a decent temperature whether it's uh, spring and summer or fall or winter it, it keeps it relatively all right and as I say you're only looking for the clothing of what you can handle for cold and for heat and as long as you are within that boundary it doesn't really matter you're not looking for a perfect temperature you're probably not gonna get it uh, certain spots in here have major drops as well so I wouldn't worry too much about that as far as your base is concerned it would just be a waste of your time so as you see this will be my base it will continue to hold me for up to eight people I will only be able or only have to make uh, slight adjustments um, so then that way this is my base I had this base pretty much built up so uh, by winter of year one I had this amount of base already built so my kitchen was in here my rooms were all ready my play area was there my dining area and they were inside and you want them inside as media as soon as possible um, so this was about a 10 by 15 uh, that I built and I spent all of my time because what else am I doing so I was chopping wood and transporting the wood and building I had other people on building as well so they could help out um, I got this up quite fast I didn't need to like I see other videos or other people where they just build some little shack put a couple crafting things in it and then you know leave their their survivors to sleep outside for the entire winter uh, the one thing you want them in is your survivors inside in the winter uh, they will be better for it if you get flooring down they'll be even happier uh, this is going to help boost your happiness and this is what stops your meltdowns uh, so once this building was completely done so during the winter I built this the other thing that I do a lot of is because if there is no farming during the winter those are the months that I take the time to do my renovations I do my movings I do other building things uh, because you got your survivors doing less stuff because nobody's needing to transport or farm in the winter and as long as they've got decent clothing to go outside why not so I built this during the winter uh, this would be my storage area and my crafting area and it's quite sufficient because I don't need 12 crafting tables I only have five people um, and as you see I got my research desk my crafting desk and two tailoring desks I will be adding a soldering desk here so that I can do uh, electronics and weapons you don't need too many you only have so many people that can do a job so please do not think that you have to make 12 crafting tables and put one thing on each they'll all get done uh, rest assured as you see I have split my clothing so this is all you really have to do you just need um, two tables because I can get another person on crafting so therefore I can have two people crafting to do uh, multiple different items and I don't want to overload my crafting too much uh, I will make a video on that one as well um, as far as how to craft fast and properly um, and that way you can save yourself some time um, but yeah again this is my base I uh, do hope you think it looks all right I put this up very quickly and again I don't need to keep redoing things which means that the rest of the time for all the years it's just whatever I choose to do my passengers will be able to to build other things I can work on my power I can expand my um, farm a little bit um, and they're free to put down the flooring they're free to do the adjustments uh, my main base will never change from this this will sustain me for eight people and I won't have any problems navigating around this um, so yeah I hope you can understand why I did this um, I hope it helps you and um, I hope you like it like and subscribe this and uh, yeah, I look forward to making other videos, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.